the Star Citizen subscriber program. Let me just start off by saying that Star Citizen is not a subscription-based game. You are able to play the game entirely through a one-time minimum purchase of $49. However, although subject to change, the Star Citizen subscriber program is strictly to support the development of Star Citizen and in return you will receive some benefits that I will explain in this video. A quick disclaimer, I am subscribed to the Imperator subscription level, however this should not affect my overall opinion. RSI currently only offers two subscription levels, one called Centurion at 10 US dollars per month and the other called Imperator at 20 US dollars per month. Although you don't have to own a game package to subscribe, I would highly recommend that if you're invested enough to subscribe, to at least purchase a game package and start reaping those backer rewards. The subscription service started back in 2012 as a means to get recurring funds to help support the development of the various titles CIG are working on. Additionally, subscription revenue will also be used to help fund behind the scenes shows such as Around the Verse, Reverse the Verse, Ask the Devs, and 10 for the series in addition to Jump Point and the monthly digital magazine about Star Citizen. While shows and other exclusive content might seem appealing to some, to others it just doesn't justify a $10 or $20 cost. In response, CIG also offers a number of other perks as shown on screen now. Three notable ones being Ship of the Month, which allows you to try a ship designated by CIG in the verse for that month, Flare Items, which are permanent in-game items such as weapons, armor or cosmetics, and REC Strip End, a lump sum of either 20,000 or 40,000 REC given per month. Some other minor perks you get are things such as a title for the forums, a special subscriber status, discount on physical merchandise, early access to the PTU, an ability to submit questions to the devs, and also for the Imperator level sub, you also get the option to test flight a ship that has become flight ready for one week. Purchasing a subscription can be done in three ways, through a recurring monthly subscription, a one-time purchase of 12 month subscription, or a purchase for a one month access pass. The only benefit from any of these plans are the annual plan, where you get a month for free. Additionally, once you accumulate 12 months of subscription time, you're eligible for a discount coupon. The coupon is good for one-time use on digital products only. Also please note that you cannot mix your subscriber tier month rewards towards the coupon, meaning that if you purchased a 1 month pass for Centurion and then 11 months on Imperator, you will have to purchase an additional month on Imperator to receive the coupon. If you've decided to purchase a subscription, you will receive a number of perks immediately, with some perks coming in the following days. These are subscriber status, access to the vault, jump point, access to subscriber exclusive merchandise, access to exclusive in-game items. Your current balances for most of your currencies can be found on the main RSI website, including the credit buyback token. However, for AUEC, the alpha UEC, so is it worth it? Now before I get into if the entire subscription is worth it, I should add that there is a subscriber only store which allows you to access all previous flare items given out at certain prices per item, so they are not strictly a limited time item as they have been advertised on the store. On top of this, subscribers are also able to sometimes get the opportunity to purchase certain ships that might not be available to everyone else at the time. So do I think it's worth it? Probably not for most people. The Star Citizen subscription at 10 or 20 US dollars per month gives you little bits here and there, but for the most part you would be subscribing to help development. Whilst content is plentiful for subscribers, I personally wouldn't say 20 US dollars is worth it, especially for more than 3 months in a row. Now I strongly suggest, if you are interested, in purchasing a 1 month pass before committing to anything more. Let me know how you guys feel, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below, and thanks for watching.